Hi there, it's Jen with Stamp Silly, and I've got a fun watercolor card for you today. We're going to start off with a piece of four and a half by or four and a quarter by five and a half piece of watercolor paper. We'll also be using the balloon celebration set, in particular the small balloon here. We'll also use the set made with love, and we'll be using the little bunny and the little chick from it. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to take the stamps that I'll be using, the little bunny and the little chick. You'll notice I cut the sentiment away from the little bunny, little stamp surgery. That's okay, it doesn't hurt your stamps. I can put the sentiment back in there when I want to. I'm also using the happy birthday sentiment from the balloon celebrations. So I've got those placed where I want them and now I need to make a light pencil line underneath them where they're going to be sitting when I do when I go to do my stamping. I'm just penciling in where I want the ground to be. We need something to be underneath those critters so that they don't look like they're floating in air. So to stamp the little animals with I'm going to use the archival basic black ink um, sorry, basic gray ink. This ink is great because it's permanent, so it's great for watercoloring. I can watercolor over the top of it and it won't bleed. It also gives a really super crisp, defined, stamped image, much better than our old uh, basic gray ink. So I'm um, also going to go ahead and stamp a couple of balloons up at the top using that sa same basic gray ink. Um, and just offsetting those a little bit so that the balloons are floating in the air above the critters. I've also gone ahead and stamped an extra balloon on a scrap piece of watercolor paper. Okay, now we're going to watercolor this, but I don't want to get watercolor on my critters or my balloons. So I'm using a product called Liquid Frisket. It's a liquid masking fluid and Basically, you can either paintbrush it on. I've put it in this fine line applicator. Um, the, it's much like our fine tip glue pen, but the nozzle is a little bit bigger than the fine tip glue pen. I actually am finding that it's a little too big for this purpose, so I still need my paintbrush. You could use your paintbrush right into the bottle of the liquid frisket, um, but I don't mind um, just sque squeezing out just a little bit that I need. So I'm just taking the paintbrush around then and brushing the liquid frisket into a thin, you want it in a thin, um, a thin coat basically is what you need there. And you want to get up right up to the edges of your balloon. You can in fact go over the top of your inked areas if you want to. And don't forget the little tails of the balloon because we don't want those colored with the color we don't want. Okay, you'll see that it dries rather quickly and it's kind of shiny and rubbery. It will end up with a rubber texture to it. So now I'm going to do the same thing over the top of the little bunny and you'll want to be pretty particular when you get into those little fine detail areas um, and the little chick he goes pretty quick uh, you will you'll just want to be careful to get his um, tail feathers um, just be careful getting the tail feathers because they're pretty tiny but this works well. So then you're going to allow your frisket to dry and it takes, I don't know, a minute or two to dry. It doesn't take very long but as long as you have it thin it shouldn't take very long. Then you're going to go clean your brush. I just use soap and water to do that and get all that goop out of your brush so you don't ruin the brush. Now we're going to use an aqua painter and our pear pizzazz ink to create the ground. And um, I don't want a whole lot of ink on, or a whole lot of water coming through my aqua painter to start with, so I'm just using a light, light brush to do that. And I'm concentrating the green towards the under, underside of those critters, and then I will feather that out and, and use a little bit more water as I go towards the bottom of the card base, so that it, it kind of gives you a little more dimension. And if I add a little water there where I thought that the line was a little too much of a line, it will help thin that line down and make it look not quite so harsh.
So now it's time to do the sky, and here's where you'll really see that liquid frisket come into play. So I can take my pool party ink and I can actually go right over the top of that masking fluid. I can get right up to it, I can get go over the top of it, it's going to resist any of the water coloring. I love it for this um, use because I don't have to be so careful and because it's watercolor I don't have to worry so much about it actually running where I don't want it. So um, this this works wonderful. So I'm just keep applying my sky and when I'm done I'm going to heat set it. It will just helps dry the watercolor paper a little bit faster. And look at how the sky actually looks really pretty real. I love it. Now it's time to remove the, the liquid mask. I'm just using my finger and rubbing it off. It is that simple. It's so cool. Um, it's, it's a lot like rubber cement but on a thinner thinner um, it's thinner than that so I will actually link to a source where you can purchase the liquid frisket um, it'll be in the YouTube description down below now it's time to go ahead and color our critters and our balloons for the bunny I'm using soft suede and I will use um, the aqua painter again and we'll just go around the darkest areas I'll kind of do some shadowing under his arms and and then to do his cheeks I'm going to take my watermelon wonder marker and just tap my aqua painter to it to pick up some pink for his cheeks and then a little bit for his ear. Now if I want to blend that out a little bit I just clean off my aqua painter and um, blend those colors out just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to go add a, a little bit more brown um, under his nose and and above it a little bit. Just I'm being picky. So now it's time to do the little chick. We're going to color him in Hello Honey. Don't mind the top of my ink pad. Um, it is Hello Honey for sure. And I'm going to concentrate the darker color again underneath underneath of him and blend the color up and out so that the sun looks like it's hitting him from the top. Um, so the this is just a quick easy process to do and um, really watercoloring these guys doesn't it actually for me it's faster than coloring with a marker you'll see here I'm it's off, off camera but I'm flattening my aqua painter brush a little bit so that I can get in there to his tail a little bit easier and and then just fussying up the little guy a little more. I could have put some pink cheeks on him also, but I opted not to do that. So now we're going to use the Watermelon Wonder to color in one of the balloons. And for that, I'm just going around the edge with the darkest shade possible and then blending that out with water as I get towards the center. The other balloon is getting um, colored in with Cucumber Crush. I like these two colors together because it adds a lot of brightness but because we're water coloring the color is muted a little bit so you still get that pastel tone even though these are really rich and bright colors. I love the look of it and again just um, wash that color in towards the center. For the last balloon we're using crushed curry same technique here. Use the concentration of color on the outside edges and then uh, wash it in to the center. Now we need to fussy cut that balloon. I know a lot of people don't like to fussy cut. Me, I think it's somewhat therapeutic. So I'm just going around the edge and leaving a little bit of a white edge around the balloon. And it's going to be ready to attach to our card with, um, I'm going to attach it with Stampin' Dimensionals. But before I do that, I want to add some strings to those balloons. So here I'm just drawing a couple of strings. I'm drawing, um, making it look like I have tied a string around the balloon. And then that string is going to attach to the bunny's ear so that it looks like we've tied the balloons around the little bunny. I think it just makes it look so adorable. Um, that little bunny, his ear sticking up and then it looks like those balloons are coming off um, of the edge of his ear. So and here on the other side then I just create a few tails for the balloon strings. Now before I put that yellow balloon on I want to figure out first where to place it and then I need to make some strings 
to attach that one also. We don't want it to look like it's just floating out there in all on its own. So we'll just draw a line down and connect that one also and then don't forget the tail of the string. So now I can remove that. I know where it needs to go and we'll throw some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back side of that um, yellow balloon. So <clears throat> we'll pop those Stampin' Dimensionals on and then attach that to the front of the card right where we left the space for it. Just like that. Easy. And really this card goes together so quick. I think it's so adorable. Okay, now we need to add our sentiment. So I'm going to use some embossing powder um, with the embossing buddy and rub that over there good because you don't want ink to stick embossing powder to stick where you don't want to. So I'm stamping the sentiment, the happy birthday sentiment, with Versamark ink and then we will heat emboss that using some black embossing powder. And this is really heavily pigmented black embossing powder. Um, so I just use a spoon. I have a separate container. I just use a spoon and I spoon it on and then I can flick all the excess right back into the container and then heat it up with the heat tool and you're done. Now we just need to attach this to our card base. I'm using a card base that's Daffodil Delight and it is a top folding note card so it measures four and a quarter by eleven and then it's scored at five and a half and folded. We'll use some fast views to adhere the watercolored piece to the card front and the fast views will help flatten that watercolored piece out. There is a little bit of warping that um, happens when you watercolor, but attaching it with some strong adhesive to your card base helps a ton. It will pull that warping back out of there. So that is our card for today. We'll stick that down really good. Again, I just think this is an adorable birthday card. Thanks for watching everyone. You can find more inspiration on my blog, stamped-silly.com, and products used today are linked below in the YouTube description. I hope you come back again real soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.